superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found on Sunday, we will learn to spell words with vowel teams. On Monday, we'll be learning about words that contain vowel teams such as UE, EW, and UI. And we'll be learning about the prefixes RI and UN. On Monday, we will introduce the new informational story titled My Lungs. On Wednesday, we'll be learning about prepositions and on Thursday, we'll be learning about narrative writing and how to construct a narrative paragraph. On Sunday, we will learn to spell words with vowel teams, words that contain UI, UE, and EW in them. And the new spelling words for this week are fruit, clue, throw, blue, new, and juice. So we'll be learning about the long U words. Let's use these words in sentences. I brought you some fruit. The police didn't find any clues. Ali threw his toy. My favorite color is blue. I need a new car. Do you want fruit juice? In phonics, we'll be learning about vowel teams U, E, E, W, and U, I. The letters U, E, E, W, and U, I make the vowel sound we hear in blue, screw, and suit. Now let's read the words below. We have true and drew. In phonics, we'll be learning about prefixes re and un. A prefix is a word part that is added to the beginning of a word to make a new word. A prefix re means again. The prefix un means not or the opposite of. So, undo means not to do. Redo means to do it again. In English, we'll be reading a book titled My Lungs. So the focus question, how do the lungs help your body get oxygen? So this type of book or genre, it's a nonfiction informational text. And my lungs provide you with a clear description of how your lungs work. And the clever illustration provide information as well as entertainment. This captivating book is also great for teaching sequencing and using a glossary to better understand the text. Our instructional focus here is to retell the story in order to understand the text and to understand the sequence of events. Prepositions are words that show the relationship between a noun or pronoun and other words in a sentence. We have examples of prepositions like in, on, under, beside, behind, and between. In, something is located inside of something else. For example, the cat is in the box. In is a preposition. On, something is located on top of something else. For example, the book is on the table. Under, something is located beneath something else. The ball is under the chair. So under is preposition. Besides, something is located next to something else. For example, the pencil is beside the notebook. Narrative writing. So when you narrate a story, you tell a story. And when you tell a story, you have to tell what is happening. So you need to use transition words like first, next and last and you will use also temporal words temporal means time it's a word that refers to time 
So temporal words like once upon a time, yesterday, during summer. Narrative writing. So parts of narrative writing, you need to write the title. And which is here, the nature walk. You are using here temporal words like today I went on a nature work with my class around the school. So this is the opening sentence or the introduction. Now, as you can see here, he's using transition words to write the sequence of the story. So first we walked around the playground and I saw the squirrel. Next. We went to the field and walked through the trees. This is next another transition words. Then is another transition word. I looked at a really cool leaf on the ground and I picked it up. The closing sentence, I saw a bunch of cool stuff on our nature walk. So make sure to start it with an opening sentence and make sure to use temporal words and then you need to write the sequence of the events using transition words and the last thing you need to have a closing sentence.